In this video, how to use the value notifier and the value listenable builder to selectively rebuild individual widgets for performance. So, what is the problem? The dashboard app needs to chart the espresso, coffee, and latte consumption. Drawing each bar, the chart needs to refresh independently for performance. So what is the solution? So let us use the value notifier and value listenable builder to allow to selectively rebuild individual widgets for performance. The value notifier and value listenable builder allow to selectively rebuild individual widgets for performance. Now first, create a class that extends value notifier. Second, add fields to contain data defining them as value notifier. Third, add methods to modify data and call the notify listeners method. Fourth, add the value listenable builder widget in the widget tree to rebuild widgets selectively if the data change by individual field. Let's take a look at the sample application. It's a dashboard application that plots individually the consumption of espresso, coffee, or latte. And each individual widget, each individual bar, is redrawn only when it needs to, when the consumption goes up, without redrawing the whole widget tree, without redrawing the whole page. So how is this accomplished? Let's, uh, let me go ahead and hide this a little bit. Okay, first of all, we wanna create a class, and in this case, it's called Dashboard Value Notifier that extends the value notifier. And if you can see, we have a dashboard section class that is being passed in, which is above here, which is just a class that has three different values of type value notifier. In our case, it's just an integer. So we're gonna keep track of the number of espresso, number of coffee, and the number of latte consumed. So in the dashboard value notifier class, as you can see, we have three methods and number of espresso, and number of coffee, and number of latte. Each one has an integer of the number of consumption of that particular type, whether it be espresso, coffee, or latte. What it does, it, it takes that number of espresso, the value of it, and it just adds the number that is being passed in, and then notifies any listeners. So each bar here, actually is being built with the value listenable builder, which is always listening. Once the notify listener is called, that particular bar, that particular widget will be redrawn, not redrawing the whole page. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the home page. And how do we set this up? How do we set up the value listenable builder? Uh, first, we go ahead and declare some values up here. You can see the class dashboard value notifies being uh, created and everything is marked late because we don't want to initialize any of these values here. We're going to initialize them a little, initialize them a little bit later. I've also created three timers, one for the espresso, one for the coffee, and one for the latte, so that it simulates the consumption going on and off at different times so that we can see each individual widget being redrawn. Now, the first thing we need to do is initialize the dashboard value notifier, which we do in the init state. And as you can see, we have the class dashboard value notifier. And the value, we're pressing in that class of the dashboard section, which has the number of espresso, number of coffee, and the number of latte. And the initial values that decided to pass 25, 40, and 15. Now, each timer, the total timer espresso, the total coffee and total latte is basically a basic timer, a periodic timer that goes off every one second in this case. And every one second, it adds two espresso. We're just simulating the consumption here, right? And then once we have a tick of 30, once we're 30 seconds into it, we just wanna say, okay, we're done consuming all the espressos. We also want to cancel that timer as good citizens here. And the same with the total timer coffee and the total timer latte, same thing. Only they're going off at different seconds and they're being added different values. So we can see the bars going on and off. 
Also, we dispose the dashboard value notifier and also the timers. And always remember to dispose first before the super dispose is called. Now let's take a look at the actual page. We have an app bar, which basically displays the uh, dashboard. We have a safe area, a single child scroll view, and I created a column and a row to put these bars in. But let's take a look at the actual meat of this product, the value listenable builder. So you see, you can see that we have three of them, one for each for the espresso, coffee, and latte. Now let's look at the espresso one. The value listenable is looking at the dashboard value notifier, the value of it, and the number of espressos that are being consumed. So every time this number changed, the builder is called and rebuilds this particular widget. I have a debug print here so that we can see the values when we're running or what is being passed. And then the builder, all it's doing is creating a mood vertical bar widget, which I created. And you can look at the code here, but it's basically just plotting this bar. And you can take a look at the class on, on, uh, on your own. So every time the number of espresso changes, this particular bar is being rebuilt. And we do have the debug print showing the number of espressos and the value. As you can see here, you can see that they're going off at different times. So the only the particular bar that is being increased, the value changes is being redrawn. And you can see here for the value listener builder for the number of coffee, exact same item is happening. And the same for the number of latte. As you can see, it's very straightforward if you have a, a page and imagine maybe we were plotting more than just three, maybe we're plotting four, five, six, seven, ten different items on the page. We only want to redraw the item that needs the value change versus the whole screen so that it keeps the performance up. How does it work? The value notifier and value listenable builder allow to selectively rebuild individual wages for performance. Use fields to contain data defining them as value notifier. Use methods to modify data and call notify listeners as method. Use the value listenable builder widget in the widget tree to rebuild widgets selectively if the data changed by individual field.